It's Andrew Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. Today I'll be teaching you the wonderful jazz standard How High the Moon in chord melody style. I'll show everything slowly and in detail. There is also a slow tempo version towards the end of this lesson. I made uh, taps and backing tracks in various tempos, which you can download as usually from the link down below in the description box. All right, let's get started. How high the moon is in the key of G major. We have a 4-4 time signature and we have an A1 section and an A2 section, each of them being 16 bars long, so nothing special here. Uh, you can use your fingers or the magic pick uh, along with your fingers and this is called hybrid picking. All right, let's get started. All right, and here's phrase number one, and I'll play through it quickly now, and so you can hear what it sounds like, then I uh, break it all down for you, and then I uh, play through it slowly again. All right, one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> We have two phrases here actually within the first phrase that are exactly the same but moved uh, uh, apart two frets. We start, we are in, in uh, the key of G as I said, we start on the seventh of the uh, G string. This is the pickup bar, so minus one. Then uh, the eighth of the uh, B string and the tenth of the B string. This is our pickup bar. One and three, four, and now it's for the first bar actually. And that's a G major nine chord. 10 of A, 9th of D, 11th of G, and the 10th of B, inner four strings. Then I have a rest and then I go to a G major seven chord. This is our melody. G major chord, regular G major jazz chord, 10 A, 12, 11, 12, inner four strings. So from G major 9 to G major 7. Next phrase, we go back to that pickup bar, 7G, 8B and 10B. Uh, and now the pinky moves out to get a G minor 7 chord. And that's 10 of A, 8 of um, D, 10, and the 11th in a four string. That's a G minor seven, right? And this is syncopated. Three, four, and... And now I have a filler chord going on. There is no melody. The melody remains here. And we move from G to its five, to the dominant chord, to the C7. And I do that with a little bass line. So I put my middle finger to the 10th of the E string. Then I play those high three strings again, the D, G, and B string. Now I have, I move my bass down one to the uh, ninth. And 
now I refret to a C7 chord. I think you know this. And this remains here. This is the 8th bar from the E, the 10th of the A, 8th bar, the 9th of the G, and this is the 11th. We do not play the E string because here is our melody note. So you can't play higher than a melody note. And I just strum across the strings. And um, to my highest note. So that entire G minor to C7 movement is. And now I move everything down that I had already. We started on the seventh, now we start on the fifth of the G. 5G, 6B, 8B. Because now everything goes to F. We were on G, now we're on F major 9. 8, 7, 9, 8 of the inner four strings. 8, 7, 9, 8. F major 7, 9. And then I go to F major 7. That's 8, 10, 9, 10 of the inner four strings. I go back again. 5, G, 6, and 8 of B. And then my pinky glides over and we get an F minor 7 chord. 8A, eight 6, 8 and 9 of the inner 4 strings. Then I have my movement again to its 5th chord. I move to the bass on the 8th of the E string. Then I play the upper 3, D, G and B strings. Move the bass one to the left, 7th of E. And we fret to a B flat 7. That's 6, 8, 6, 7, 8. No E string. All right. And that's it for phrase one. And I'll repeat it slowly now at slow tempo. One, um, we have a pickup on one end, so I start my counting at three. Three, four, one. Here's phrase number two. One, two, three, four. All right. We start where we ended on that B flat seven kind of cowboy chord. And um, we pick the middle finger on the G string. Then we lift all the fingers off. So, and one, two, and then the eighth, and then the sixth of the B. So we come from here. Three, four, and one. All right, and now we have just quarter notes. We have an E flat major chord. Uh, that's the sixth of the A, eight, seven, eight. And we uh, just the inner four strings, so make sure to mute that E string by touching with your index, also the low E, because you want to go slowly and gently over the strings, and after each chord, you lift your left hand fingers, you release the pressure again, you don't really lift them off, but that's what we want to have. Okay, two of those, one, Two. Then we go to a G7 with the fifth in bass, with the D in bass. That's the tenth of E, nothing on the A, muted. Then uh, the ninth of the D, the, let's see, uh, yeah, the ninth of the D, the tenth of the G, and the eight of the B. Ten, nine, ten, eight. It's like the regular chord, but with the fifth in bass. Make sure to mute A and E string. We play that twice. Two beats. One, two, three, four. 
then we go to C minor 7, that's a bar chord on the uh, third fret from the A string, all the way up to the high E string this time. 3 A, 5, 3, 4, 3. And I play two of these. And then I go over to D7. We can move two to the right. So we're in the fifth fret now for D7. And I put away this minor third and replace it by a major third and we're on D7. So what we get is five, seven, five, seven, five. All the way through the high E string. Right? C minor seven also all the way up to the high E string. Because here's the melody. Alright, okay, um, then we move our pinky to the 8th of the B string and the 5th of the E string is still barred, right? Ah, oh, sorry. Okay, from the E flat, actually from the pickup. couple of funny chords. The first is a normal chord, regular chord, G minor 7. That's the fifth of the D string. Here's my root. 7, 6, 6. Upper four strings. I have a rest on two. One. Those are just filler chords. There's no melody going on here. Um, and then I'm on E7, sharp 9, uh, what is this? Sharp 11. That's the uh, seventh of the A string, that's the root. Six, seven, eight, that's the, the, the Hendrix chord. And the sixth by barring. Okay, don't play the low E string, please. So you go from G minor seven, all the way to E seven, altered um, here. Another O, oh, I hit that E string and that's not good. So, and now we go down to D, but we lift the pinky up, off, and move it one down. And what we get is a D7 flat 9 sharp 5 chord. 5 of A, 4, 5, 4 by barring, and 6. So you gotta practice this from here to down, and while you move to down, you lift your, you move your pinky. And we play two uh, strums now. They are both down because we always, uh, when we stress, when we have accents on chords, we always play down in jazz. It's more relaxed. And then. This pinky moves inward to the 5th fret, and now it's a pure D7 flat 9 chord. And that's it. So here is the chord thing. And here's the entire phrase number 2 at slow tempo. I start from the previous uh, bar from the B flat 7. Three, four, and one. And here's phrase number three. One, two, three. We start on the three and um, we came we come from this chord right that was our last chord I think yeah D, D7 flat 9 and we go to this G diet that's the fourth of the G and the third of the uh, E you kind of have to hi either hybrid pick it or use your fingers but you can't strum it then we go, those are sixths, and now we go to the uh, fifth fret, five of G and five of E. The middle finger is our guiding finger, remains here. 
then two up to the seventh, seven, seven. Three and four, one. Now we're on the G major seven chord. One, two, and. And on two and, we play the full G major seven chord. Before that, we had only these two, and they are included in that chord. Now the full chord is five of D, that's the G root, seven, seven, seven. Right? Then count number four has a D flat seven. I have uh, the sixth of D, six, six of G and B, and the seventh of the E string. That's a regular D7 cowboy kind of chord. We use a lot of cowboy kind of chords in chord melody because there is no other way if we if we have if we have a third or a seventh and on top in a melody. Usually that's the simple most simplest way uh, simplest way to do things. All right. Then you move your index over and we have an A minor 9 chord. And I play the 5th of D, 5th of G, B and the 7 is still here. You could actually also play the open A string. Right? Then I lift that up, off, and I play that fifth of the E string. Then I go to the D, 13, that's the fourth of the D, fifth of G and B, and the seventh of the E string. Then I glide over one to the right, and I'm on the eighth fret of the E. And it happens fast, those are eight notes. a couple of ending chords for that first A section, the B minor 7, it's kind of a turnaround, 9 of uh, the highest 4 strings, 9, 11, 10, 10, play that once, then I repeat the highest E string on the 10, then B flat 7, that's 8, 10, 9, 10 on the upper 4 strings, and I uh, repeat that E string again. And then the last one is A minor 11. I take advantage of the open A again, play 7, 9, 8, uh, 10 on the upper four strings. And that's it. And then we're back to the, um, to the pickup. So here's the entire uh, phrase 3 at slow tempo. <clears throat> One, two, three. Welcome to the A2 section. We repeat everything from the A1 section until a certain point and that's the phrase for then when things change. So um, <clears throat> let's go quickly through that, uh, through all that repeats itself from the A1 section. <laughs> Then we 
we change things, okay? So C minor was the last thing. T7. All right, and now in, in the first A section, we went to G minor 7. Now it's for G major 7. It's just right below here. Uh, five, we had it before, 5D, 7, 7, 7 of the upper three strings. Play that once and go to a D flat 13, 9, 13. Here would be our root for the Fa, we don't play that. Third of uh, D we start, fourth, fourth by barring, and sixth, upper four strings. D flat 9, 13. One, two. And then we have stuff that we had already before too. We go to A minor 9 with the A in bass. Low A string, 5D, 5, 5, 7. Lift that finger off and uh, the fifth of E is being played. <coughs> then we go to the D39. That's the same as the D flat, but now we're in D39 and we had it before in the A1 section too. So that's four, five, five, seven of the upper four strings. Move one to the right to the eighth. Right, so from here, from uh, the phrase number four till now, four, and then our chords that we had in the A one section also B minor seven, nine, eleven, ten, ten, upper four strings. <coughs> Play that high E string again, B flat seven. That's uh, 8, 10, 9, 10 of the upper four strings. Play that high E note again, uh, E string again. A minor 11. Play the low, uh, play the A string. 7, 9, 8, 10. And now the ending is 7 of the G, uh, G string. How high the moon, high. That's a D9 sus4. <coughs> that's mm, sorry. That's the tenth of the A. <coughs> tenth of the A, tenth of the D, ninth of the G, and the eighth of the uh, B string. You gotta mute that A string. <coughs> tenth of the B alone, and the ending chord is a G6 chord. And that's the G in bass. Uh, tenth of the A. Nine nine eight. <coughs> so those last uh, chords. How high the moon. And we are getting slower. It's a ritardando on A minor eleven. Slow. Sorry. All right, and uh, here's the entire phrase number four at slow tempo. Three, four, four.
thanks for joining me on How High the Moon. I hope you liked it. If you did so, please give it a thumbs up, share the knowledge, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to never miss out on any new videos. And I see you next week. Ciao, ciao. Servus. Bye, bye.